Welcome back. Well, we're uh, working on your uh, BMI project and a question that's come up a few times is, all right, I'm supposed to submit this as a zip file. How do I do that? Uh, the first question, of course, is why do I need a zip file here when I never have before? And the answer is that this project contains multiple files. And um, so there'll be um, your bottleapp.py, there'll be your various view, uh, HTML-ish files in the views directory, and there could be other things, say, in a static directory. So somehow I need to be able to see all of that stuff. If there's a problem and if you need me to help you look at it, that's the way I'm going to be able to, to look at your code. The other thing is, is this, in a server-side environment, you don't show the code. Now, normally, you've been passing me the Python code. I can see the code, and, and I can look. If there's problems, I can help you. But in this environment, the code is on your server, as it should be, and I can't really see it. I can see the HTML output, but I can't really tell what's happening. So if you want me to be able to look at your project, whether it's this or, say, you do your final project, also in this kind of a mug, sorry, I had a cord under my chair, um, then um, you'll want to be able to do a zip file. And um, there's a number of ways, but I'll show you, I think, the easiest way to do it. And that is going to be previewing Unix. Oh, baby. Yeah, all along, Python Anywhere is just a big Unix computer. It's a nice wrapper around it. And so um, in, this, in this pretty web wrapper, we don't have access to zip. But I don't know if you've noticed, there's been this little button here all along, open bash console here, which leads to a significant amount of power. But here's what I want you to do. So if you're ready to do this, your project should be all done. It should be online. It should be working. Everything should be good. So you want to save this to your last step. And then go to your my site directory and typically it's not going to have anything but bottleapp.py maybe i have a backup of the original um, and you'll probably have a static and a views directory you'll certainly have a views directory you may have a static directory um, okay so that's fine that's fine what we want to do is we want to create a zip file that contains both of these files as well as these directories and their contents. So we need to preserve the directory structure. And that's not a difficult thing, but you have to kind of know how to do it. Um, and it's not possible just through this um, web interface, but open bash console, that's a powerful thing. Um, so um, this is opening up the Linux command line shell. Now, some of you may have used something like this, or maybe you used DOS way back in the day. Um, this is similar, but quite a bit more powerful. Um, if you take 240, the first session, we talk about how to get around. Um, but I'm just going to show you a couple commands now, just so you can see what's happening. Um, ls is the list command. And that's showing me that I have um, bottleapp.py, bottleappbackup.py, static and views. Great, that's what I want. Now on the command line, you have to kind of know what you're doing, but once you do, things are quite easy. So there is a command called zip built into most versions of Unix. So I'm gonna go zip. And then the next thing that it generally needs is, um, the uh, name of the file to create, which in this case will probably be something like bmi.zip. And then what goes into the zip file, typically it's something like that. So this command would create bmi.zip um, in the current directory and it'll put all of the files in it. That's great, but that's not exactly what I want right now. What I want is it to, cr to create a zip file containing my Python file and these two directories. So we'll do a variation. Zip dash R means go recursively into the directories that I tell you to use. So um, bmi.zip um, is still what we're going to make, but not only are we going to add all of the files in the current directory, we're also going to add everything in static and in views 
And in my local copy of the zip file, I should see a static directory and a views directory containing all of their contents. Okay, so we'll hit enter and hopefully we'll see, great, super. It's putting everything in there just like we want. It's compressing it a bit. If I do another ls, I'll see bmi.zip. Okay, that's pretty great. All right, so now you can go back to your regular scheduled file system. And you should see here in my site, bmi.zip. You can download that. I've already done it once, but that's fine. And then when you open it on your local machine, you'll see the .py file, the views directory containing what it should, um, the static directory containing what it should. Um, and then that's the file you can submit through Canvas. Um, does that make sense? Okay, so that's what you're gonna do. You take this, download it to your desktop or whatever, and then upload to Canvas and you're good to go. If you make changes in your, um, in your project, you should update the zip file so we have the most recent version. That's just how we help you. All right, hope this helps. See you later.